This is Keith Helwig from Cops Corrections Videos. I'd like to talk today about promotions. You know, some people when they, they come into police work or they come into corrections, they're satisfied with spending the entirety of their career as a patrolman or as an officer one and officer two. They have no desire to promote to sergeant, lieutenant, captain. And you know what? That's fine. I'd say that's probably the vast majority of people that are in police work or in corrections. If you run into a 45-year-old patrolman, chances are that's what he wants to do. They're more than qualified to promote, but they choose not to. Now, when I worked in corrections, I was a blue shirt uh, sergeant. I would worked my way up to sergeant, which in Wisconsin means that you're in charge of a housing unit. And I had 17 years in before I decided to promote to lieutenant. Now, when I promoted the lieutenant, it's entering a different world. I remember one of the things that everybody told me was, don't forget where you came from. And you know what? That's great advice. But you also have to remember where you are now. Along with the promotion comes some social distancing. <clears throat> You'll find out who your friends really are and who's going to try to take advantage of you because of your new position. Now, I have friends that were my captains when I was a sergeant. I have friends that were my sergeants when I was a captain. I kept a lot of friends, but I also isolated myself from some friends. Uh, at one time, Wisconsin had a very powerful union in the Department of Corrections, and it was greatly frowned upon for a blue shirt to associate outside of work with a white shirt. In fact, at one point, I was a captain, and we had um, like a breakfast club going. It was myself, a couple sergeants, a couple officers, uh, maybe every now and then another captain or lieutenant would join us, and we'd get together for breakfast about once or twice a month. Well, there were people that really frowned upon that and really tried to make life miserable for those officers who still, still chose to associate with me. So, like I want to get to, the point I want to get to is that when you promote, be ready for some social isolation. Be ready to lose some people that were your friends. Now, they always say, don't forget where you came from. And that's true. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget the experiences you had as an officer. Don't forget the experiences you had for a sergeant once you promote the lieutenant. Don't forget the experiences you had as a lieutenant once you promote the captain. But once you make those promotions, don't forget where you came from, but remember where you are. When you reach the position of being a captain, you're going to be investigating staff members, and some of them may have been your friends at one point in time. Some of them may still be your friends. I recall a situation where I had to investigate a man who was my lieutenant. Now, this lieutenant had been my friend when he was a sergeant. He was my friend when he became a lieutenant. And allegations were made, which turned out to be true against him, that I had to investigate. Now, to say that that put a severe kink in our relationship would be a vast understatement. But that was my job. You know, I didn't relish it. I didn't like having to investigate this individual and know that I was potentially destroying a relationship. But it was something that had to be done. It was a responsibility that came along with my position. So before you promote, think of what you might have to do. Are you willing to investigate your friends if there's uh, allegations of misconduct? Are you willing to kind of destroy the way you think of people? Think of a friend because all of a sudden you're privy to an investigation into them that reveals things that not only you didn't know, but things that you never would have expected. Because believe me, that's going to happen. You're going to be called upon to investigate people that are your friends. You're going to be called upon to, to do things that you don't necessarily do, that, or that you don't necessarily want to do, but things that you have to do because of your position. You know, a lot of people promote uh, because of the money. You know, I made pretty good money when I was a captain. I made pretty good money when I was a lieutenant. And one of the reasons I promoted was for the money... And I also, one of the reasons I promoted was because I saw some of the supervisors were just plain old ass hats, and I knew if they could do the job, I knew I could do it just as good as they did. And hopefully, I did a decent job. 
So when you promote, think about more than just the money that you're going to be making. Think about the responsibility of the new position that you accept. If you want to be a captain, you have to act like a captain. And along with that comes responsibility. Never forget where you came from, but never forget where you are. Until next time, this is Keith Helley from Cops Fractions Videos. Stay safe and watch your back.